crazy stupid podcast thank you so much for tuning in as always if this is your first time watching we'd love it if you could hit the like button the subscribe button and the bell so that you are aware of when we post things hello everyone welcome back to another episode of crazy stupid podcast my name is esther and i'm adrian as you all know we have finished interview with the vampire seasons one and two and you all would like to see our reaction to this season three trailer i'm looking at just from the thumbnail and i'm like what is going on is that Lestat why is he wearing his funky clothes well, because he becomes like a DJ or a rock star or something well I hope that's done as well. <laughs> look if you want I can have somebody knock in the window I uh I think he what what you think what I think he's entertaining somebody <laughs> <laughs> Do we have insurance for homicide? You know what? We had three deaths on the banger sisters. So don't worry about it. I'm so confused. That's him. Jesus Christ. Look at him. This guy's just going to keep interviewing right, vampires for his whole career. It's the line court. Hi, I'm Mark Johnson. I'm the executive producer. We talked on the phone a couple of times. We're really excited about the uh, I don't remember you. Documentary. <laughs> okay. Hey man, thanks for the tickets last night. Great show. Good 45 minutes. Hey, uh, okay. This is Christine Clare, Mr. Lion Court. Okay, Coat. Uh, hair and makeup now. Do I look like I need you? Oh, you he is do. moody. <laughs> you do look like you need her a little bit. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> There's a goblet on the table. You don't like the goblet? Can we get rid of the goblet, please? That sounds like Daniel. That's what I'm saying. Why does Daniel just go keep it with the vampire? What if they're turning it into a movie in their world? I'm sounding goofy. I don't know. But you'll see my face in the camera. No, that actually looks it looks like, like we're talking to each other. I mean, not a movie, but like some sort of a documentary. documentary. Your sound man is dehydrated. <laughs> we'll, uh, okay, we'll, we'll <laughs> have some decorum. Action. Okay, we're gonna start. Let's, could you state your name for the camera? Justin Bieber. <laughs> I see you have my book there. What do you think of? <laughs> Why he still saying? <laughs> Did he get turned? I'm sorry. Excuse me. <clears throat> oh, give me a second here. Daniel, are you okay? I am the vampire of the star. Why are we pushing? I'm immortal. The light of the sun, the sustained heat of an intense fire. These things might destroy me, but then again, they might not. Okay, that, oh, do you think this here. means Luis not in the show? Because I feel like it does. <laughs> Oh, you think he's gone? Well, because if this is focusing on Lestat now, I don't. I feel like they closed out the Louis and Lestat chapter. But I, I wasn't the impression that he'd be returning. Like there was more to the story because of the way he end, it ended. And this buildup of like the the expansion of the the world building. People mm. are finding out in Daniel's book, and it, it seemed true. as though Louis was going to be a part of that. But honestly, yeah. maybe just leave him out. Let him have a happy ending so he can be fine. <laughs> I don't know. Bro, I don't know. I don't know. I'm excited. I mean, listen, I'll watch for Lestat. He He's very captivating on screen, but I, he, I will miss Jacob Anderson if he's oh, not Oh, 100%. In it. Lestat does not look well. I'm sorry. I I know it, maybe it's in like a music video. I, I don't think he is well. Probably not, but he's got a thriving music career, it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> it's given he's popular but like on the inside like he's coping with like a lot of substance and he's i mean not... you know the story of so many yeah celebrities does the world know he's an actual vampire well that's my question because it seemed as though when daniel got interviewed in the finale there's a, a large group of people i would believe that think he's making this all up because mm -hmm. like un unless you see a vampire go out and do some crazy nonsense you're gonna think that it's just all make-believe yeah i don't know and then and there, the reveal that there were all of these other vampires that were angry at Louis, like... For exposing them and stuff. I don't I've got so many questions now. This is what I was asking about earlier in season one of, like, at some point, like, will Lestat get interviewed? Mm -hmm. I think that's probably what we're getting here. Like, or at least a documentary style of his life as a rock star slash vampire. I don't know. 
I'm intrigued. I'm here for it. Absolutely. I don't know if there's a date, but season three, I'm here for it. I love the fact that AMC gave this show time to grow. Yeah. Give it room to build up its fan base. And now we locked in, baby. We here. You know what I mean? All right. Well, those are our immediate reactions and immediate thoughts. We'd love to hear what you all think. What are some of your thoughts on this teaser trailer? How do you feel about the direction that they're going and the book that you're choosing to adapt? Let us know in the comments below. And with that, we want to thank you all again for tuning in and we will see you all next week. Take care, everyone. Peace.